This month, China banned imports of Taiwanese pineapples, the latest in a string of punitive trade measures against democracies that illustrate how China has weaponized its growing economic clout. As the island's largest trading partner, China buys more than 90% of Taiwanese pineapple farmers' exports. But the island is taking Beijing's boycott in stride, underlining the potential for what is quickly emerging as one of the Biden administration's sharpest foreign policy tools, bringing democratic allies together on China. In response to China's trade ban, the Taiwanese government has launched a chirpy public campaign for the freedom pineapple that's gone viral. From Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen on down, prominent Taiwanese are urging citizens to stand up to China by eating more of the fruit. After Australian wine, unfair Chinese trade practices are now targeting Taiwanese pineapples, Tsai wrote. But that won't stop us. Support our farmers and enjoy delicious Taiwanese fruit. Global netizens quickly joined in support of Taiwanese growers, posting photos of pineapple cakes and pineapple shrimp balls. In Taiwan, creative restaurateurs came up with new pineapple dishes, adding pineapple to staples like beef noodle soup. Taiwan's envoy to the United States shared a picture of herself taking a giant bite out of a whole pineapple at a local Taiwanese farm. Solidarity for Freedom Pineapples flooded in from all corners of the world, including Britain, Denmark, India, and the United States. Of course, most of the support from abroad has been moral and not economic, since it will take more than just a few days for Taiwanese producers to redirect their exports. Most pineapples in the United States, for example, are sourced from Hawaii and Puerto Rico. But the swift and very public backlash against Beijing suggests there is a growing sense of solidarity among the world's democracies with victims of China's economic bullying.